This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Parshas Vayera, Parak Yotas, Pasuk Chavzayin. A very interesting Pasuk. Vayashkem Avraham Haboikar, Avraham wakes up in the morning, El Hamakoim, to the place Asher Ahmad Sham Es Pnei Hashem. To the place that he stood when he prayed before Hashem. So the Gemara in Brachos, Vav Ahmad Beis, says Amar Abchel Boy Amar Abhuna, Kal Hakoveya, Makam Latfilasai. Like, hey, Abraham Ezra, anyone who establishes a set place to daven, the God of Abraham will be at his assistance. The Gemara derives from this Pasuk that one should be Kaiveya Makam Latfilasai. By the way, the place can say that means one should have a set shul that they daven in, and in a shul, they should have a set place that they daven in. And likewise, one, if, even if they're davening in their home for whatever reason, they should have a set place in their house so that when they daven, they pray in that place. And the Gemara says, Uchshemes, when such a person dies, they say about him, Hai Anav, Hai Chassid. They say that this person was a humble person. And Rabbi Pesach Frank wants to know, what is the connection between humility and establishing a place to daven? So he says, Bedarach Tzachos, and this is a very important lesson in life in general. He says, why is it, you know, many people float around from shul to shul, one year they daven in this shul, another year they daven in a different shul. They're, and you have some people, they just stay in the same place for decades and decades. Now obviously there are different circumstances and different situations in life, but in general, why are some people always on the move? And says uh, Rutsi Pesach, many people, after being in a certain place for a certain amount of time, it's inevitable, someone will say something to them, maybe the rabbi, maybe the gabbai, maybe someone next to them. And they have a perceived insult. And they say, that's it, they're Baroigas, I'm out of here, I'm going somewhere else. And inevitably that will happen in the next place. And the person is constantly on the move because he's always so mockbit about his covet and his, and his esteem. And he's always being insulted by this, by that. Things are always happening that anger him. But in Anav, he's able to stick it out in one place for a long time. He doesn't take these things to heart. He doesn't pay attention to them. They don't bother him. So if someone is able to remain in the same place for an extended period of time, that's a sign of humility. And therefore, when, some, when such a person passes on, they say, Hi, Anav. And this is an important lesson in life in general. People always want to change. I want a different this. I want a different that. I, want to, I have to move. I have to change my circumstance. Usually that's a result of gaiva where a person's not satisfied with their particular lat. The anav is able to be kaveya makam letfilasoi, kaveya meshbachtoi, kaveya, all of his circumstances in life, he's able to, to slide with the punches and accept and say, komanda avid rachmana latav avid, whatever the Ibn gives out to us is for our benefit, is for our success, and is for our well-being. Ba'ilam haza u ba'ilam haba. Wishing everyone a great day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.